guys welcome back to my channel so as you can tell from the title of the video that this video is about creating your cv specifically for the role of digital marketing so let's quickly get started with the video without wasting any time but before that i want you guys to answer one question for me so while making your cv which is the part where you feel most stuck that you don't know what to write where to get content from how it will be perceived by the hr do let me know in the comment section and i will make a video about those questions later so let's get started with this video so guys most important thing that you have to take care of while making your cv is to make sure that it's not more than two or three pages and once you follow all the guidelines in this video you'll be able to start getting job interviews within no time so as you can see i have a template of a cv in front of me so what you have to do is first of all you have to mention your full name your location your email telephone and the link to your linkedin profile linkedin profile is very important most of the employers they goes to your linkedin profile so make sure your linkedin profile is up to date before you submit your cv with the link of your profile and next comes the personal profile section okay guys now let's talk about the personal profile section so think of your profile as your elevator pitch to get your foot in the door Start with a high level statement and summarizing yourself and your professional profile in one powerful sentence and continue this introduction by giving a more detailed description in a short concise paragraph. This personal profile paragraph needs to be strong and clear as it will be the first visible point of your CV once it is opened. Therefore, it needs to make a big impact. If your profile doesn't contain the important requirements for your target roles, some recruiters may close it down without reading any further. So let's take a look at the example of how someone can write the personal profile within a few sentences so guys here you can see a sample cv of david smith you can see the designation of the person or what the what the person consider himself as the location email and link to their linkedin profile and now let's look at the personal profile so the person has mentioned accomplished digital marketing specialist with a proven track record in delivering consistent profit growth for business through high quality traffic and sales conversion so as you can read and see how effective this line is and how in two lines the person has portrayed what they have done and how they have done now let's go further so extensive experiences across a broad spectrum of fast-paced and challenging industries including telecom retail and financial services so this shows that the person has uh, its experience of various types of industries a positive and driven team player with a strong background in digital marketing specializing in content marketing social media affiliate channels and on-site optimization proven expertise in boosting e-commerce sales through a broad range of on-page and off-page methods so guys now let's go back to the template and see what exactly the points you can write in your cv so guys here is the breakdown of the points for you so as a digital marketer your profile should include these key points type and size of the companies you have worked for any specialist digital marketing experience you have for example seo email social media ppc etc size of the team you manage or are part of and who you report to what problems can you solve for your employers such as if whether you can increase the engagement boost the revenue or increase their conversion rates Alright guys, so after personal profile comes the employment section. So you should list your professional experience starting with your current role and working backwards through your previous roles in the space provided here. The below provides an outline and guidance notes for you to work with. So guys, whatever current role you have, you have worked or if you're not working at the moment, so the last role you worked or if you're working at the moment so where, wherever you are working so this is the template you should be using so starting your month finishing your month for example march 2018 to june 2021 what did you work as and what company did you work for so start with an outline of the role describing the key responsibilities the best profiles are short sharp and to the point don't go into too much detail as you can obviously speak about that in the interview so here is an example uh, in this role i manage a team of 
X people report to the CEO have full PNL ownership and manage marketing budget of X amount. So let's see the example of similar um, job role in David's CV. So David mentions that he was working from March 2019 till present. Uh, he is working as assistant marketing, digital marketing manager at Financial Hub. Manages a team of seven. Report to the CEO. Have full PNL ownership and manage marketing budget of two hundred and fifty thousand euros. <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> and so here are the details of the role. So develop and execute a fully integrated digital marketing strategy, maintaining its market leadership position and delivering on key business objectives across customer satisfaction lead generation and reduced cost to serve so you can see that david has included the strong uh, verbal uh, action words like develop champion customer first thinking let the digital marketing upskilling so make sure you use such words at the beginning of sentence as you see how david has gone from the broader explanation of the role to the micro explanation of the role as to what in broad his role was and what are the things that he was part of his role so develop and Im implement a clear innovative customer-led marketing channel strategy supporting the migration of customers to online services communication so this is very specific detail about the role and then champion customer first thinking across financial house business using consumer insights and analytics to influence and shape the development of digital services so what he did why he did and how he did and led the additional upscaling of the white marketing team to ensure the optimum level of digital capability for a marketing organization serving consumers in a digital world so guys now let's talk about the achievement section and how to fill that up in your cv so guys achievement section is very important section please 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 do not skip this section do not be lazy uh, make sure that you have the relevant points covered um, this will show the employer what you have achieved how you have achieved in your previous role and this is like a proof to them that you are capable and then they will consider you for the job interview because guys getting the job interview is the main part after that it's up to you what you can do with that interview but getting the interview you have to make sure that all the relevant things are there in your cv so now let's talk about the achievement section so don't forget to show your impact by including some impressive achievements using the following format so what your responsibility was plus what the result was and what happened as part of that result so impact and achievements within the role so three or four key achievements is appropriate here metrics data or any kind of stats help recruiters and hiring managers to see the impact you made by adding data and metrics to quantify your achievements you can upgrade your resume from amateur to amazing for example increased revenue in year one by x percent in year two by x percent and in year three by x percent developed a strategy to monetize revenue from a new vertical the strategy was presented to and approved by the board led the company's first major content campaign consisting of x express releases and x written content items distributed to a large network so guys let's see how david has filled out his achievement section so guys as you can see uh, what david has mentioned increased revenue in one year one by 13 percent in year two by 14 percent in year three by 15 percent developed a strategy to monetize revenue from a new vertical the strategy was presented to and approved by the board led financial hubs major first major content campaign consisting of 30 press releases and 50 written content pieces so guys you can see that this the achievement section is very data heavy so that the employer can judge you can see the numbers clearly and it is also a chance that you can stand out from the other candidates for a particular role so guys using the same formula you can mention your uh, achievements and the highlight of your previous role so if you have one experience to experience to experience you can do that but make sure it's very brief and it's concise and it's not very lengthy it's easy to read for the hiring managers so guys the next section is also very important which is the education sector so now let's go through it and see how to fill that in your cv 
all right so the education part shouldn't be very difficult so complete your education background and qualifications in the space provided here again beginning with the most recent and the most backwards working pool backwards following these guidance notes important aspect of this section should be rep repeated in your main personal profile section at the start of your cv to ensure they are noticed by recruiters remember unless it's compulsory for the job application only include educational results that show you in the best possible light for example masters in digital marketing at uh, the name of the college and what was the result and if you have done the bachelor's obviously and school exam if relevant otherwise no need now let's have a look at what david has put it in his education section so basic guys masters in digital marketing yo and if the certified digital marketing professionals yo and the bachelor's year so guys very pretty simple and very straightforward guys now let's go to the it and technical skills part so include all relevant it skills in the space provided here starting with the ones that are most applicable to the role you're applying for for example google analytics salesforce microsoft word excel powerpoint wordpress adobe photoshop marketer etc now let's go and see what david has put in the it and technical skills section so guys, as per David CV, he says he's proficient with the following marketing related technology. So Google Analytics and Google Ads, very important, very basic. Facebook, Instagram and Twitter advertising platform. Marketo, the marketing automation software and SEMrush for SEO and the very basics. So guys, whatever certifications you have, whatever software you have used, do mention all of them the more the better all right guys last but not the least the interest section list your interests and hobbies here focusing on interests that are particularly impressive or are relevant to your target market or digital marketing in general for example writing art articles or blogs managing your own blog volunteering organizing events travel home restoration renovations cooking guitar playing songwriting don't forget to include some personal interest so that they can learn something that reflect your personality it can also be a good conversation topic during your interviews so guys for example i have the photography page I, and i do mention about it in my cv and i mentioned that i like sports etc so that these are some of the traits that reflect your personality and make you interesting and it also starts it also acts as a conversation starter in the interview so make sure you enter all your relevant interest and also your personal interests as well so let's see what david has mentioned in the interest section so david's interest is technology is one of his personal interests i have obtained a high level of knowledge on how the internet functions and differ across devices industries and geographics also an avid user of the main social media platforms sports music and traveling interesting and regularly volunteer for homeless charity and humans too very kind and the guy's last section references just mention available upon request so once he, the uh, hiring process moves further your hr manager might ask for references from the pre previous employers or your college so just you will have to give them on request so do not mention them on the cv so guys this was it for today's video please do let me know if you like it and if you need more information and so the cv was from the experience point of view for experienced people and i'm gonna make another video for people those who are complete freshers on how to um structure your cv in an efficient way so stay tuned to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video bye